you know, as a global marketplace of how movies are being created, there is a continuing need for companies to be able to adapt themselves where studios need to access rebates and, you know, other efficiencies that are uh, the order of the day. You know, there's no way for any company to survive in this business if you, if you don't have the ability to bring soft dollars back to the studio in some form and shape. And, and you know, it's a combination of all of these things that frankly has impacted uh, the, and some of the companies that have historically been set up, you know, with a very heavy uh, cost base or a cost infrastructure and a legacy of their own technology, I think have sort of paid the price more so than others. Um, and that's uh, what we've seen at least has been the challenge of the industry. You know, there, there's more and more of us getting into the business and we're diversifying to, to take advantage, as Navin said, across the, the spectrum of the different subsidy zones around the world. Um, but you combine that with a, with a reduction in the concentration of, of movies being made, uh, it tends to create this, this environment where we're basically just trying to kill each other to get the next job. Um, you mean because studios have, have pared down the number of films they're, they're releasing each year? You get that feeling. I mean, there, there, there's some, definitely some metrics on that. I mean, there's some studios that are producing a lot less movies than they did in, in early Well, I mean, they, they yeah. say it. Disney and, and Warner Disney Brothers has, has yeah. said that. Yeah. And, so if you, and, and as the industry keeps expanding, as subsidies keep moving around the world, different people will pop up in, in odd places to, you know, to accommodate those businesses. Sometimes they're branches of existing companies and sometimes they're not. Um, and that tends to dilute the, uh, dilute the marketplace even more. I think, uh, and just make you know, clearly on one hand there is a reduction in the number of movies, but there's also an increase in the amount of visual effects in every film. You know, so yeah. the dichotomy of the situation is that you've got less movies but more volume per film you know there was a five years ago if you had a movie which had a thousand shots of visual effects that would be a big deal today you know every other film at least at the big level have thousand twelve hundred fourteen hundred shots so there is certainly a greater dependence on the industry on one end and on, on another end the volume has gone certainly down from uh, from the number of pro projects perspective. Today, the Canadian industry is doing exceedingly well. They've got great talent pools of people, and the incentives are unmatchable, frankly, by any other country in the world. You get almost 50 to 60% of your direct salary back. You know, how does anybody compete with that? You know, we've you had to you know, face the reality of being a smaller company here in California, um, but in order to go at the needs to, you know, to basically diversify and be able to service movies in, in other locales. I mean, we have scaled down our Los Angeles operation pretty significantly over the last four or five years and have grown pretty substantially in Vancouver and New York and now in Germany. Um, I think there's a base, there, there's an absolute base level understanding whether or not we're required to or not. You know, we provide, you know, everything up to the bar we provide you know paid vacations and health care and all sorts of stuff um, because it's our obligation to our employees to do it whether or not somebody says we have to do it or not um, and that's just the way we operate I'm not sure how other people uh, choose to to run their business or why they run the business what I think is one of the problems with the with the industry as a whole I mean other than other than all the stuff we've been talking about with subsidies and production going elsewhere in the world the playing field is not necessarily level for the artists. There's a reduction in the amount of movies being made by the studios, but there's an enormous thirst for content in the industry you know, out there. So... You mean on platforms like on VOD? On platforms out to VOD, Netflix, Amazon, you know, all these DirecTV, all these other uh, ancillary platforms. And can we tap into financing structures that allow us to produce our own content, develop our own content, and you know, to that end, we've, we have our own development arm, We've signed with an agency, and we're trying to do this in little baby steps and try to create a little business model for ourselves. On one hand, we're talking about a globalized industry and that the world is a free marketplace. On the other side, within the same country, different states are competing for bringing businesses and providing incentives to... And the same is true in Canada. You know, there's a... If you go to Canada and you talk about setting up a visual effects company, you'll be, you know, tackled by almost three... BC and Quebec and Ontario will be like chasing you down the hallway saying, you know, uh, who's better than whom? And it's, 
all within the same country so yeah, yeah.